Hey, it's Raquel from Succulents Box again. Today let's tackle those white spots. There are many reasons white spots form and we will discuss the most common causes and treatments in this article. Stay tuned! Sometimes the white spots on your succulent are totally harmless. If the white layer you see is a translucent powdery wax, it's probably farina. This is a natural protectant your plants produce to shield from the sunburn and water damage. Echeveria, Sedevaria, Kalanchoe, and Graptovaria succulents will all produce thick farina layers. Farina may have a shade of white or blue and can be wiped off easily. Before jumping into a treatment plan, please make sure you do not mistake farina for something alarming. The first reason for harmful white spots in succulents is powdery mildew. It's a type of fungal infection that thrives in warm, dry areas just like succulents do. These white spots will start darkening in the middle, turning brown and black. Powdery mildew infections usually start on a single leaf and then spread to the rest of the plant. Sometimes a mildew infection will go away on its own, but it's best to treat your succulent just to make sure it recovers safely. You should remove any infected leaves and treat the rest of the plant with copper-based fungicides, which you can find at your local garden store. Some gardeners have found that mixing one tablespoon of baking soda and a half tablespoon of liquid soap can also create a fungicide. But baking soda can also cause sunburn. Make sure you avoid application during the daylight hours and always test it on a couple of leaves before using the mixture on your whole plant. Another reason for white spots on succulents is pest infestation. It can be white flies, spider mites, or most commonly seen, mealybugs. Mealybugs are the most common pests that can cause white spots on your succulents. To treat mealybugs, start by quarantining your succulent. Then, use a cotton swab dipped in rubbing alcohol or hydrogen peroxide. Brush off any mealybugs you see around your succulent. Next, give your succulent a wash using either a diluted 75% rubbing alcohol solution or a 5% neem oil and soap solution. Spray your succulent thoroughly. Do so once a week until you no longer see mealybugs. Afterwards, you can repot your succulent in a clean pot with fresh soil just to be safe. To prevent future pest infestations, make sure your succulent is kept in a pot with drainage holes and well-draining soil. You can also open up windows or use a fan to promote air circulation, which in turn will prevent the buildup of mold and water droplets on your succulent. Salt buildup is another common reason for white spots. When the water you provide your plants has too much salt, salt travels with the water and transpires from the leaves, leaving behind excess undissolved salt that looks like white spots on your succulent's leaves. It is very important to control the salt level and avoid buildup by using only distilled water and rinsing the soil every couple of months with fresh water. The last reason we look at today is succulent edema. This is not sickness or disease symptom. Succulent edema is a sign your succulent isn't retaining water very well. A succulent struggling from edema will start showing signs of poor water retention through welts, which swell and burst on the leaves, leaving white marks. Edema isn't necessarily bad for succulents, but it's a sign that your succulent is likely getting overwatered. To treat succulent edema, avoid touching the welts. Instead, repot your succulent in a pot with drainage holes and well-draining succulent soil. Remember to only water when the soil is completely dry. That's about all we've got for white spots on succulents. Treating these underlying issues is not difficult. Follow our instructions above and your succulents will come back to life healthy and happy. Happy gardening! For more, you can find us at succulentsbox.com or on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest.